Whoa. Okay, guys. Enough of my hyper moment. I just saw the Fox News does a special report on emo scene kids. Holy shite. I did not realize how many people actually hate emos and scene kids. But you know what? The people who have emo side are punk rockers who fully want to kick emo kids and scene kids asses. Why are you hating on something that's probably going to be bigger than what you are now? There are so many scene and emo kids out there. How are you going to kill them all? You can't kill me, can you? I don't think so. I'm going to be one of the voices of these scene and emo kids because you know what? We need more people like me out here. Whatever is going on with all these people hating on emo kids, there. I go to school and I'll have a bunch of kids saying, oh yeah, emo kid, da da da. But unlike the U.S., we don't have people beating the shit out of emo kids. In Canada, we don't do that. You either have respect for someone's style, or you can just shut the fuck up and walk away. Because we're not causing trouble with gangsters. We're not causing trouble with punks. We're not fucking around with the rockers. We're not pissing anybody off. Y'all are just getting all mad because we are starting to be something that you can never be. And that is a giant movement. Disagree with me if you'd like. You can comment this and be all like, you're an emo piece of shit, da 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 I don't fucking care what you think. I don't care. You all think that you can just punch an emo kid and they're going to be knocked down? Pick a fight with me. Hit me once. I will turn my face like Jesus did. But if you hit me twice because I'm something that you ain't, I will box the fucking shit out of you. Like, who are you to hurt kids who want to belong to something? A kid is emotionally hardcore because things have happened in their life. I've had fucking shit happen to my life. I've had three of my freaking friends pass away on me, committing suicide. Oh, because they're emo. It's not about that. Not all emos cut themselves. It's just a music. It's a term of anger, frustration, life, teenager angst. The whole thought of you are something. You deserve a voice. Don't be silenced by others. That is where Screamo comes out of. That is where this kind of music comes out of. And you're just hating on us because we want to speak out. You guys are all afraid of something becoming stronger than what you are. Punkers and whatever and whatever groups there are, gangsters and whoever hates emo kids, the only reason why you hate us is because you're afraid and you can't raise your voice up to what we have done. We will fucking tell you straight up, we are upset! We do not like our society! We want shit to change! Now! You guys, you guys just watch and see everything pass around. Life isn't like that. It's not about getting stepped on. It's about standing up for what you believe in. And if you're going to start hating on emos and scene kids because you don't care or you don't like that we're speaking up and we don't like what the fuck you're doing, live with it. Knock me out, punch my teeth in, kill me, shoot me, cut my wrist, let me bleed black. I don't care. I can't really call myself a full emo kid because I'm not fat all the time. I took one day and I said, fuck this world. I'm not going to live my life upset anymore because you know what the hell is the point in being upset when I could just stand up, tell people, fuck off, get out of my fucking face, or else I'm going to fucking box you down. It is not about being sad. If you're an emo kid, take this from me. If you're upset, don't write sad poetry. Oh, my life sucks. Don't, don't do that. It only makes what people say about emo kids true, and it's not. You have the power to change what you are. You have the power to believe in something more. You, you, your own hands, yourself. You have the power to make something of your life instead of just wallowing in it like it's not going to change. I can't do it. You have so much to do. You can do so much. You are worth much more. People who are hating on scene kids, the day 666 about National Beatdown Day, what the hell? world and that, that's like killing gay people because they're gay that's like killing a black person because they're black that's like killing like an arabian child because they're arabian it labeling and everything like that is kind of like labelism that's a hate crime hating someone because of what they are when personally each and every one of us human beings does like something about the other, whether it be the music. There could be a gangster out there who, yeah, yeah, he likes hardcore music. He likes to just let it out, scream it out, you know, play some angry chords on his guitar, whatever. Writes a really sick-ass rap and just lets it all rip out, you know, just tear it up. 
And then there are kids who are just like, you know, they're preppy and they believe that, you know, life is all great, but they do have moments where they are upset. And they do have moments where they do want to fucking cry. And it's not fucking fair that people hate emos and scene kids. Why? We have never ever done anything to you. We don't hate you. You can be preppy all you want. I don't, we don't care. I have a lot of preppy friends. I have a lot of scene kid friends. I have a lot of gangster friends. I'm pretty much a straight up G to them because I don't care. Why must we all hate when we can truly just love each other? Why do I have to see Fox News does a special report on emo zine kids and we're all getting beat up because of what we choose to be our style? We do have sad moments, okay? We are human. We are allowed to feel the way we are. And you guys, you guys are doing all these things to hurt us and just hate on us and because and wanting to kill us or ramming into us with your car or whatever. It's not fucking great. It's not cool. And my life wasn't so violent. It would be better. For once in everyone's life, I just want them just to see that hatred and violence doesn't solve anything. Okay, it leads to more death. It leads to more sadness. And it doesn't lead to anything good. It doesn't lead to anything good at all. So instead of always hating someone because of what their style is or what they choose to be, stop. Instead of being an emo kid and calling another person a poser, who the fuck are you to call someone a poser? You are human. You are nothing more but a human. When this style starts coming in and changing everyone's perspective of what they feel and what they stand for, I'm sorry if I'm crying. You just call me a straight up emo kid for crying. But you know, I do feel strongly about this. I'm not quite fond of seeing my friends or my type of friends group getting hurt because you can't take five minutes to respect someone for who they are and not what they look like. Yeah, we have piercing. Yeah, we have hair covering our face. Yeah, we have our style. Gangsters, you can shave your head, carry shape, and join the bloods and the crypts and have gay fights and kill each other for no purpose at all. But an old fight between Tupac and Mix, or whatever the fight is between them. Why? Why can't you just like eat all the people and not hate each other? Why? I don't care. It's so apparently easy to hate each other. But it's even easier to love. It's even easier to say, you know what? You are family. You are brethren. You know, you're my home dog. For one day in my life, I want to see an emo kid and a gangster come up and shake hands. Just one day in my life. You know, just see connection, love, that there is no hatred, that there is nothing between them. Because emo scenes, gangsters, all these cliques, all these labels, we're not gangs, we're not the army, we're not fucking hated people, we are kids. Kids respect each other for our age, respect each other because we choose to be. We have the strength to be what we want to be, even if it's hated. As for the scene in emo kid movement, let it be. It's getting stronger because more of you are hating and more people are feeling that hatred between you all. So instead of all this hate, love each other. Don't do this to each other, okay? At least for me. For me. I, I might not be much, but at least for me. I want to see at least one day where everything's okay. Where there's no fighting. Where there's no hate between the kids and evil kids, okay? I just want everything to be okay. I don't want to see these, oh, die emo kids die. I made a group on Facebook. I made it with all the labels, Kids Unite. And kids are fighting on it, saying, oh, emo kids, emo kids, kill them all. What the fuck? If I could knock a fucking hole into everyone's head who's ever hated an emo kid or seen it because of what they look like, I swear to God, I think I'd cause a lot of concussions out there. Stop hating. It's time to start loving. Okay, please. Take this video, think about it, send it to your friends. Just think about that it's time to share the love, not the hate, okay? It's time to love each other for who we are because we respect each other. Please. Please, for me. Thank you for listening. Bye. Princess Punk out.